You've learned about creating and editing 2D shapes in 3ds Max, a great basis for starting with 3D objects. Now we are going to start working directly with 3D objects. This is probably one of the primary workflows you will have in the scene creation process. Two primary forms of 3D objects that you'll be working with generally are the editable poly and the editable mesh objects. There are other types of 3D objects, however, these are the two primary types of geometry within 3ds Max and will be the geometry you're working with in most situations inside of 3ds Max. Editable mesh objects are composed of connected triangular faces. There is a good set of subobject editing tools available. They allow quite a bit of flexibility in the 3D editing process. There are also editable poly objects. The major difference between editable mesh and editable poly is that the editable poly objects can be made up of multi-sided polygons and have a much more advanced set of editing tools available to you that make 3D poly modeling considerably more advanced than the editable mesh. We will be concerned with the editable poly object, which allows us to use the graphite modeling tools available in 3ds Max. The first thing we'll do is take an object and convert it to an editable poly object. You can convert object types back and forth in 3ds Max. There are some limitations to this depending on which types of objects you're converting, but we're going to convert using the editable poly option. We'll then use the graphite modeling tools to learn about a procedure called paint deformation, where we will actually paint hills on our editable poly landscape. 